Welcome back to Wine of the Day. Today we're going to feature a Prosecco, a red hot wine, but we're also going to offer you a wine tip on uh, what to pour sparkling wines into. I have three different uh, glasses here for that wine tip. Um, traditional champagne glass, a flute as they call that, and we have a now what's the classic old school martini glass that was uh, always used as a uh, champagne glass. If you look back at uh, films of the 40s and 50s, they were always pouring uh, champagne in that glass. I worked for an uh, Italian wine importer, and we had wines from Franciacorta from the Veneto, same region that this Prosecco is actually from today, all, all Proseccos are from. But they created their own real glassware that had more of this look. And the differences between the glasses are the champagne glass, the bubbles will go straight up. And you're going to lose a little bit of the uh, aromas as the bubbles go straight up, but the bubbles, I think it's more of a look. The bubbles just look cool in the glass. When you're using this old school uh, champagne glass, the flatter model, the more bowl uh, type model, uh, the bubbles kind of, they don't have as far to go up. Uh, you're not seeing that much dancing in the glass. Uh, I think the bubbles are also going to reduce a little bit quicker. And that is why the French Accorta producers decided to come up with this glass, where you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting a bit of a bowl, the bubbles have uh, an area to rise, and you're also uh, getting a bigger glass so you can kind of swirl, you can smell the wine, uh, which you can't really get your nose into a typical flute glass. That's your wine tip of the day. And now the wine, the, the important part. Prosecco. Prosecco's really gotten hot as of late. There's always that trendy wine that uh, just pops out and everybody wants to buy it, everyone's having it, everyone's talking about it. This is a trend and I think because bubbly is back, people are realizing that it actually goes really well with food. It's not just something that you want to use as a celebration type wine, but it's also the perfect wine to start an event with. If you have a multi-course dinner, um, and just a little tip here too on how to open this. You just want to give it a little bit of a twist first to gradually pop that because you don't want that blast of the cork. Just ease that out. That way you're not going to get wine pouring over the edge. Uh, but I think that uh, uh, this is just a great starter for, for an event. I know that uh, bubbly, when I do a wine dinner, I always want to start with bubbly because it, it seems to kind of just get your hunger going. Once you have that first little sip of bubbly, before you had that first hors d'oeuvre, your stomach starts rumbling, it just gets you hungry, makes you, makes you ready for that meal. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this cloy and we'll talk about um, the region. Uh, I said it's from the Veneto. The Veneto is a pretty popular wine region. You know of the grapes, but you don't really realize sometimes that the Veneto is the, the site for these wines, but Valpolicella, Amarone, all come from the Veneto. Uh, you also have, like I said, the French Accord of Sparkling Wines, which are made very similar to the way that they make Champagne in France. And then you have Prosecco, which is, some may say that it's the most popular wine coming out of the region right now, the way that it's, it's selling like crazy. But Prosecco is a, is, is a region. It's not a grape varietal. The grape here is Glera. It's 100% Glera in this wine. And Prosecco is uh, made with the Charmat method where that second fermentation, you ferment like a normal uh, wine would ferment uh, first in big stainless steel tanks, and then they pressurize the tanks and ferment it a second time, which is gonna produce the bubbles. The Champagne method and the French Accorta method, they actually do that second fermentation in the bottle. They add a little dosage of yeast and sugar, and then put it on a Ridlin rack and let it uh, ferment and, and, uh, a second time, and also create the bubbles. So this is the Charmat method, where it happens in the big tanks. Nice nose. Uh, peach, you're getting some um, minerality. It's, uh, it's, it's limestone, which I don't think you get in that area a lot, but it's a real white, stony nose in this wine. Very clean. Uh, some people will sometimes steer away from Prosecco. They think it's gonna be a little bit sweeter, and there are some Proseccos that do have more of a sweetness to them. Certainly not as dry as Champagne or French Accorta sparklings, but it does not have a sweetness to it at all. I think it's uh, more rounded in fruit. So what would you pair with this? 
you know, I mentioned before that you're, you're kind of, a, it's a great starter, something that you want to start a party with. So if you have some little appetizers, something on a uh, bruschetta uh, of a light tomato would work really well with this. Uh, tomato and watermelon, that combination for a, a salad would be fantastic with this too. But you can also go with uh, very, very thinly sliced prosciutto, prosciutto and melon. Um, grapes at a cheese platter, even nuts would work perfectly well with this. And if you're a fish fan and uh, you're, you're, you're having fish on your Friday or uh, any other day of the week, this could be used with your entree as well. And the bubbles are going to kind of be a palate cleanser, wipe away some of that uh, uh, the, the flavor, the, the, the lemoniness of the sauce, and give that next bite a fresh new flavor all over again. Like this wine a lot. I think this should be your pouring vessel instead of a flute glass, but do whatever you like, whatever you're comfortable with. But you can get this wine in Kenosha at Tenuta's. And here's the kicker. This wine is going for $7 in a stacker back near their bubbly section and a great value for Prosecco. Most of these are starting at $13, $14, $15 a bottle. Uh, they do have some good two-for-one deals and some Proseccos, but not as good as this one for $7 a bottle. Pick up the Chloe, put it in your wine cellar, bring it out when you have people over and you want to start a party. I think this Chloe will make some people happy and fill your bottle racks a little bit as well. So that's it, Prosecco, do it, bring it home. Thanks for watching another episode of Wine of the Day, and cheers.